theatre is a different interpretation for every audience member. I'm quite proud of that. Being on the stage and performing in theatre has, has taught me that people, people look for that break from their lives to come and feel something new, feel something different, experience a new emotion. And that's our jobs to help them feel that way. might see your favourite celebrities or actors when you look at their Wikipedia pages and the first big job they get when they're 30, but it takes a whole lot of work for those 30 years before that to, to achieve what they've done. I wouldn't say I had a, a big celebrity inspiration that I look up to and got posters on my wall um, and try to copy their hairstyles and whatnot. I, 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 I say I'm inspired by the people I work with and the people I train with at drama school and people I've worked with on jobs. Um, I look at how determined and driven they are and th I pick up you know some of their techniques I, and some stuff doesn't apply to me some stuff does but I just I learn I learn from people around me okay. I think young people should take an interest especially because being on stage um, and performing it allows you to express yourself and opinions that might not be expressed in other forms of, of media. I think what I can relate to my character is the way he thinks how he is in his own world. He's very playful, he's very light, he doesn't take anything too seriously. And I think that's that's something that I do as well. No, you're gonna hurt me. You're gonna hurt me. There's a lengthy warm-up process, which I didn't really I used to be really lazy when it comes to warming up. But some of the, I used to get in about 10 minutes before the show, do a bit of, you know, singing, whatever, and think I'm done. These guys would be here about 40 minutes before and, you know, warming up their voices and bodies and everything. I think that's something that I've looked at. Well, if Pakistani women are so great, why did you marry me, man? Bastard! <laughs> Thanks. 
I mean, East is East, the play that we're doing at the moment is, is an exception because it's about an Asian family, a Pakistani family, but there aren't too many like that. And when is the last time an Asian person was cast in a, in a Shakespeare leading role? As an actor personally, I think the biggest challenge that I've come across is the amount of roles and, and the quality of roles available to me as, a, as a, an actor of Asian descent. Um, because you sort of, there's a trend that occurs, you keep going up with the sort of same stereotypical roles, and, but hopefully that will change. We had, we had, a, we had a long rehearsal week, about five weeks. Um, so it's, it's, we call each other brother and sister, it's, it's difficult not to see each other that way now. <laughs> The last thing I do before I step out on stage is there's a mirror as we um, as we enter the auditorium. Um, so I always give myself a little uh, click of the fingers, look in the mirror, and a little cheeky wink as well.